Boom. Boom. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Do you have any ideas to make Christmas even better in the future? Robot parents? Oh! -ho -ho. A cannon which shoots sticky bubbles onto the Christmas tree. Woohoo! Huge snow globe and it transmits like a clone. Hallelujah! Cat saliva. My dad thinks you are very pretty. Really? Woo! Hi, I'm Arabella. My name is Thomas. My name is Leilani. Oh, come on, I can't pop it! <laughs> Hi, I'm Catherine Ryan. I love Christmas because I get to spend it at home with my beautiful family, who are a massive upgrade from the family I left behind in Canada. But seriously, what is Christmas future all about? Designer tableware, ostentatious gifts? Well, yeah, for me, because I'm broken. But kids think differently. So with a little help from some little people, I'm here to rebuild the future of Christmas to make it so much more fun that your head might actually explode. Hey! All right, I need a Christmas free thinker. <gasps> Thomas. Hello. Hello. How are you, Thomas? I'm better now that I see you in this incredible Christmas jumper. Thank you. Leilani. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Nice to it's meet you. It's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you as well. I liked this. Okay, yeah. Boom. I love that as well. That was a strong handshake. That was good. So do you think kids are better thinkers than adults? I think they're better thinkers because with grown-ups, they're like, oh, God, so we have this today, and Thomas is going on and on about doing this, and I have to, and I have to pay rent, and I cannot buy another game. <gasps> so you are stressing out the adults in your life is what I'm hearing. Most of the time, yeah. I'm trying to imagine the most amazing Christmas future, but my old, old mind can't do it. So do you have any ideas to make Christmas even better in the future? A cannon which shoots sticky bubbles onto the Christmas tree. Amazing, a decorating cannon has saved me loads of time. A big, huge snow globe in the middle of the room, and on Christmas Day, it transmits like a clone, and they're in the room to spend time with loved ones. That is an incredible idea. Well, my idea is that you have like these robot parents. <gasps> they imitate your parents, so they cook, clean, and tidy. Mm. So your parents can have like a day off. <gasps> yeah, you could just chill out, go to the spa, maybe. Oh, can you imagine the backlash, Arabella? TV's Catherine Ryan, instead of spending Christmas Eve with her children, gets her nails done. That's nice. That's the future. Arabella, I'm struggling to imagine what these robots look like, so should okay. we build them? Yeah, let's build them. Do you know what someone got my daughter when she was five? Yeah. Someone got her for Christmas black nail varnish. What? For a five-year-old girl. Do you know what I did? When that little girl's birthday came around, I got her a hamster. Moms give each other's kids hamsters when we're trying to seek revenge. Because oh. the child is like, wow, a hamster. And the parents are like, I gotta look after a hamster. <laughs> Arabella, this is the best I can do so far. Okay, that, that's good. That's the face. And what are you building? I'm trying to build some type of car. Oh. Yeah. So the robot can smoothly move around yeah. your house. Yeah. This is going to be an excellent Christmas robot. I'm not sure how I'm doing it. I'm just... You don't have to know. I think sometimes you get started and your imagination takes over and you could end up somewhere that is surprising. When I'm old, I want to be an Egyptologist. Uh, pardon me? When I'm old, I want to be an Egyptologist. A what? Egyptologist. No, you can't make up a word like Egyptologist. It's like an archaeologist, but they work in Egypt. It's like a what? So would you like to do a fun pop quiz about Egypt? Uh, I don't know how fun it will be, Arabella, because I think I'll score low. I know very little, but I'm in. OK. Oh, no. I'm going to be outsmarted about Egypt by a 10-year-old. Are you ready? Yes. What did ancient Egyptians use to heal wounds? A, crushed beetles, B, moldy bread, or C, sand and cat saliva? Well, I'm glad it's multiple choice. Thank you for having the foresight to give me options, <laughs> knowing that I would be lost. To heal wounds, I think ancient Egyptians would use cat saliva and sand, because they had a lot of both. Uh, no, it's actually B, moldy bread. <gasps> Scientists think the mold acted a bit like penicillin. And did it? It did, yeah. Really? Yeah, a little bit like penicillin, yeah. It would actually heal wounds? Mold would? A little bit, yeah. But don't, don't use it, though. No, I'm going to use it. 
Okay, Arabella, I cannot wait to see your Christmas robot. Okay. Are you ready to do a big Grandma? reveal? Wow! Robot parents will be great as they'll cook and clean and let mum and dad chill out. And they'll also let you stay up really late on Christmas Eve. And on Christmas Day, they become the Sprout Police. Sprout Police? What do they do? They arrest all the stink-inducing Brussels sprouts and put them in smell-proof prison. Well, I love your imagination. I love Thank this you. idea. I think Thank Christmas future much. is going to be amazing with you in charge. Leilani, you have to come to Canada because, you know, sometimes it snows so much in Canada at Christmas that you can't even open your front door, so you have to dig a tunnel in the snow from your front door all the way to the top. It's like you're a mole. It is like I'm a mole. Yeah. I've taken the majesty out of it now. It's like I'm a mole who lives underground. <laughs> you're talking about actually transporting the real person to be with their family in a snow globe. It's kind of like you teleport there. I love that. What family do you have for Christmas? I have my auntie, my uncle, and my nanny and my cousin. And I love spending time with them because we have a trampoline. Whoa. And so we can just like play on it whenever we want. Are you telling me that your auntie and all of these people who are older, they jump on the trampoline as well? Let them know I'm blown away by their pelvic floor strength. Trampolining is a thing of the past for me. I've had a few kids recently. Whoa, Lonnie, this snow globe transporter is really coming together. Look, this is a special door. That's how the guest comes out. Yes. And you think, oh my gosh, Beyonce has chosen my house for Christmas to visit. Exactly. Who knows who's gonna pop out there? I love this idea. I can't believe it. You bring all the family and friends together no matter where they live. How does it work? You can use the magic snow globe to transmit a clone of yourself into the homes of loved ones if you're sick or you live really far away in Australia so you don't miss out on all the fun things. Okay, what happens after Christmas? The cloned you jumps back in the snow globe and waits till next year. Leilani, you're so smart. Your imagination is divine and I'm so lucky to have met you today. Thank you for this. It's okay. And I hope you have the most Merry Christmas. I hope you do too. Thanks. I can't do that anymore. You can raise your eyebrows, but I can't because of... Right. I'm doing it. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll do it. You're not doing anything. I know. Hey! Is this your piano at home or is this a smaller version? This is a way, a way smaller version, and no offense, mm. not the best. Not the best. It's all that production could afford. Mm. You're gonna have to give me some money. Okay, right. I'll what pay if we pay you an exposure? Okay. No, say always say no to that. They'll always try it. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go. A little um, jazz solo I would like to play. I would love to hear the jazz solo. I want to do a bit of beatboxing. Yes, please. <laughs> wow, the run at the end, Thomas. So what are you making? Well, Thomas, a mess. I don't know. I thought that I would try to make some type of contemporary looking tree. Yeah, it looks a bit like a tree. Mm-hmm. But at the top, autumn has just happened. Autumn has happened on the tree, yes. I don't really know, Thomas. I just feel like it's fun to play, even though I don't yeah. know what I'm building. Tell me about your family, Thomas. What is your dad like? My dad? Mm -hmm. My dad thinks you are very pretty. Really? Yes. What does he say about me? He says, well, you're pretty. <gasps> Did he know that you were meeting me here today or does he just go on about me generally, day to day? Um, it's when I first said. Mm. Does your mother just go mad 
Did it kick off a family argument? No, it was just like expected. Expected. <laughs> That's the reaction. A lot of people's wives. Oh, Catherine Ryan's pretty. Expected. Does your mom not think your dad can get me? Um. She wasn't threatened? No. Oh, all right. Thomas, I gotta do my Christmas decorations. I gotta kick them off with a bang. I wanna see your final result. So. Yay! Wow! That is the Christmas decorating cannon. Everyone should have a tree decorating cannon in the future. You can load it up with sticky ball balls and then just blast the tree with it. Boom. It would save mum and dad loads of time. Ooh, is that not a bit dangerous? Not really. I mean, it's powered by Christmas crackers. And if you miss the tree, the balls just turn into jokes. Oh. Thomas, this is an incredible idea. Thanks for your vision of Christmas future. Thank you. How should we sign off? Um, we'll do this, because you're a cool B-Box guy. Sure. Hey. So what's the festive takeaway? I think sack the man in the red suit and let the kids run Christmas. Look, robots who cook and clean, a tree decorating cannon to save time, and a totally stress-free and as yet untested method of travel. All these amazing ideas for Christmas future let us have more time to focus on the important stuff, which is having fun and hanging out with the people we love. In fact, I've got to get back to my family. Impossible to get a cab this time of day. No, 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 the beautiful family, not the Canadian. Hi, Dad. Yeah. No, yeah, I have grown.